Today, I'm going to discuss what an LFO, or Low Frequency Oscillator, is, and how to get one set up in Synthetic. Low Frequency Oscillators are similar, in a way, to an envelope gate, but they are a little different. A Low Frequency Oscillator provides more of a sweeping effect. It's commonly used with flangers, chorus, or even to create vibrato, things of that nature. The main way that an envelope differs from an LFO is that an envelope will rise in voltage, reach its peak voltage, and then begin its way back down to zero, where it completes. With an LFO, it's a repeating cycle. The voltage rises to its peak, then falls to zero, then repeats the process into the negative, and on and on. The first thing we need to do is just add an oscillator. Right-click, Insert, Waveform, Oscillator. Rename this oscillator to LFO, so we can remember that it isn't an audio-producing oscillator. When working with low-frequency oscillators, we have three parameters that we can adjust. There's the wave type, the rate, and the depth. So let's add a list entry module so we can set the wave type. Okay, now connect that to the waveform plug on the LFO module. I'm going to rename the list entry module to shape. Obviously, this decides which wave shape will be used to modulate the voltage. Next, we need to control the rate. The rate controls the speed with which the waveform repeats. Let's add a slider and connect it to the pitch plug of the LFO. Now, rename the slider to rate. Right-click the rate slider and go to automation. We need to change the low value to negative 10 and the high value to 0. Up next is the depth control. The depth is how high and low the oscillator will push the voltage. It'll be more clear once I can show you. Right click, go down to modifiers, and select level adjust. The level adjust module multiplies one signal against the other signal and then returns a normalized value. The first signal we'll pass in is the LFO's signal. The second signal, which will be multiplied against the LFO's signal, will be supplied by a slider. So add a new slider, connect it to the input 2 plug, and rename it to depth. Now, if we connect the output plug of the level adjust module to the pitch plug of the oscillator, everything is set up. When I play a note, you can hear how the pitch is affected by the LFO. If I turn the rate up, the frequency is modulated faster. If I turn the depth up, listen to what happens. The LFO affects a wider frequency range. You can try different wave shapes, a saw wave produces a rising sound. Ramp, the opposite. Just like with an ADSR envelope, you can use this to connect to anything you'd like. You can modulate volume, pitch, anything, really. Well, that should cover the low-frequency oscillator. Please rate and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.